Yeah, I think one of the key takeaways uh, in the presentation today is that large stocks and small stocks in the U.S. are actually very different. So instead of thinking about the U.S. market as just this one big homogeneous market of stocks, we can actually identify that small companies actually behave very differently. Uh, that's not only in a return sense, so I think there's a lot of academic research and practitioner experience uh, that small caps generally have outperformed large companies uh, over long periods of time, but also I think more importantly is that small cap stocks generally have higher volatility. Um, so if you look at you know, regardless of whether we are in up markets or down markets, so, you know, small cap stocks generally do have higher volatility. I think also, you know, we know that small caps tend to lead out of generally uh, downturns or recessions. Uh, you know, smaller companies tend to be more nimble. I think, I think as you see the early signs of a recovery, uh, small cap stocks tend to experience that in their, in their own business cycles much more quickly. Yeah, I think so. There's obviously an opportunity for products that you know take advantage of the fact that there's this this higher volatility. It is very consistent, you know, not only in terms of its absolute levels, but also relative to large caps. Um, as I mentioned before, we also know that small caps do tend to lead out of recoveries. So if the the U.S. economy does go into some sort of a recession or a downturn, um, as we've seen historically, generally small cap stocks do better when that starts to turn around. Well, I think, you know, we spend a lot of time dealing with investors of all types, institutional investors, wealth managers, um, obviously all investing in index type products. And we'd like to think that there's a, an incredible ecosystem uh, with the, the tools we have, like with option type products, option strategies that enable them to manage those investments, you know, even, even more successfully. So whether they actually have, you know, return seeking strategies using options or volatility um, management type strategies, again, that helps all investors achieve better investment outcomes. Well, again, as, as we know, you know, volatility is, is one of the three certainties, right? Death, taxes, and volatility. Um, I think so when we see what's happening in the markets with the, the coronavirus, it's, it's clearly a shock to the system. But as we look at history, we can see where, again, we know that, you know, eventually these sorts of things will hopefully subside. We think that markets will eventually, you know, come back to, to more normal levels. Um, so really, I see, you know, these sorts of events as opportunities, um, you know, particularly for, for anyone who's looking for a buying opportunity. Sometimes now can be the time to buy or for, you know, organizations organizations or individuals that are trying to manage their volatility. I mean, these are the sorts of events where potentially, you know, certain strategies can do very well. Um, so, you know, for me, this is actually a very opportune time for, for investors. Yeah, I think it's a very important characteristic when we talk about the distinction between large U.S. companies and small U.S. companies. You know, we know that large U.S. companies tend to be more globalized, so they tend to have a higher percentage of their revenues and profits coming from outside the U.S., whereas small companies tend to be more domestically focused. And so where this really becomes important is when you see global situations like the credit crisis back in 2008, right now with the coronavirus, these are obviously global events that, you know, affect companies globally. But when you actually look at the impact on the types of stocks in the U.S., you'll see that that has a more direct and immediate impact on large stocks because it impacts their revenues directly, maybe not as much with small stocks. I think what's important, though, to recognize that in many cases, small stocks are suppliers to these large companies. So while small companies may not see a direct hit in their own revenues you know, immediately following these sorts of global events, potentially there can be downstream effects. So as, as large companies potentially start to cut back on, on, you know, from their suppliers, those can be small companies. So there is potentially a delay in terms of how global events can impact small cap companies.